Hello, and welcome to our Strabo Micro tutorial playlist. In this video, I'll give you an overview of what Strabo Micro is and what it can do, and then you can follow along the rest of the playlist to learn how to use it. So first off, Strabo Micro is a desktop app designed for storing, sharing, and contextualizing geologic data at the thin section scale. It's available for both Mac and Windows. It's open source and entirely free. For some broader context, Strabo Micro is part of the Strabo Spot ecosystem. It easily integrates with Strabo Field, a tool used for field data collection, and Strabo Experimental, which is used for experimental rock deformation. Uh, these tools all communicate with each other. So for example, if you've collected a sample using the Field app, you can import that into Strabo Micro and do your analytical work at the thin section scale, keeping all the context between the field and the thin section. All of these are linked by the website and database, which you can find at strabospot.org. Uh, there you can upload, manage, and share your data, and also find data sets shared by others in the community. So let's dive into the interface. So here we are in Strabo Micro. On the left, you'll see our sample list. Here we have primarily optical microscopy images and some EBSD images, but Strabo Micro can handle all sorts of data. So for example, if you're working on Atom Probe, uh, you can import those images in or TEM or whatever it is you're working on. So uh, our samples and images here are organized hierarchically. Uh, for example, uh, this is a thin section scale panorama, and we have some higher magnification images nested within. Uh, but we can also keep track of where these images were located on this uh, larger scale micrograph, which acts as a reference micrograph. Uh, so if I zoom in, those are overlaid here. So there's one and there's another, and then we can click into those and look at them in their full resolution. You can add data to your project at the micrograph level, or you can add it in specific parts of a micrograph defined by spots. Uh, these could be points, lines, or polygons. And there are a whole range of different data types with the uh, vocabulary that we use uh, as geologists that were all defined by the community. So here, for example, this is a point spot, uh, but we can also use these buttons here to draw some polygon spots or some line spots. This multi-level approach allows you to explore parts of your data in detail without losing the context of where it came from on the reference micrograph um, and also what sample it came from. If you have an oriented sample, it keeps track of how your thin section is oriented in space and where that sample came from geographically. If you use Strabo Micro in tandem with the field app, uh, it'll also keep your thin section data organized in the context of all of your field notes. So from there, you can back all of that up to the Strabo Spot server, and you can share your projects with others, and you can choose to make your project public if you'd like to share it with the wider community. So uh, if you're ready to get started and learn how to use Strabo Micro, uh, follow along with the tutorial playlist. Thank you.